Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a rusty spinner. This is a great uh, pattern for imitating a variety of mayfly spinners, whether it's sulfurs, olives, light K hills. It's uh, it runs the range of imitating mayfly spinners. So we're going to get started with an Arex FW502 hook in the vise. This is a size 12, but this is a pattern that you can tie down to a size 20, 24 even, all the way up to about a size 10 or so. So go ahead and lay down a thread base. And for thread, we're using tan unithread in the size 6 aught. So snip the tag end and keep winding your thread right to the bend of the hook shank. And we're going to move into a little dubbing. We're using super fine dry fly dubbing in the color rusty brown. So get yourself a very minimal amount. You don't need a lot back here. The purpose of this dubbing is just to give a little ball to splay the tails out because mayfly spinners, their tails tend to elongate whenever they're in that stage of their life. And uh, I want to get as natural of a look to that as possible. So once you have that little ball there, we're going to move into some mayfly fibers for tails. So go ahead and grab yourself four or five mayfly tailing fibers. This is the color done. And we want those to be a little longer than the hook shank, maybe 20% longer than the shank itself. So you'll see that ball right there. That's going to splay everything out and make this have a nice natural look to it. So go ahead and pin trap those, give a couple loose wraps, and then we'll adjust it. And you'll see how that ball really just spreads everything apart, gives a nice natural look to this. So once you're happy with where your tails are, just go ahead and wind the butt ends forward, give a steady and even body profile to this. So now that you've got the tail tied in, go ahead and bring your thread to about the 65 to 70% of the hook shank. And we're gonna move into some wings and for wings, we're using polypropylene yarn. This is clear. Go ahead and snip off maybe an inch worth of fibers. For a smaller fly, you'll need less, and bigger fly, you'll need more. And all of these materials that we're tying with today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And all orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So if you need some materials, want to stock the box for the fall hatches, we've got everything you need there. So once you have your polypropylene yarn, go ahead and do one loose wrap right, right on top. We're going to put that straight across the shank and just do one loose wrap and then another one here. And you can situate it if you need to and then start to tighten it up and lock these in place. This material for wings does a really good job at floating and it also, I need to spread it out a little bit, but does a really good job at imitating a spent mayfly. So once you're happy with your wing and it, they're seated nicely, I like to pull them forward and twist them for this step just to get them out of the way. And then we're gonna bring our thread right in front of the tail. We're going to move into some more dubbing, and again, super fine dry fly dubbing in the color rusty brown. This is definitely a bug that you want to tie with minimal dubbing. You don't want a lot in there because mayfly spinners tend to have a lot slimmer bodies than the adults, and you want to match that profile as closely as you can. We'll go ahead and start winding towards the thorax. Make each wrap nice and close to one another and you'll see how slim we're making this body it's not a big puffy dry fly like a humpy or an atoms or something it's a nice slim profile bug and as you work towards the thorax you want to get a little bit more robust with your dubbing just because most mayfly spinners do tend to have a little bit of a pronounced thorax in comparison to their body so if you need to add some more dubbing Go ahead and do so. 
And if you guys have questions about the Rusty Spinner, when to use it, what hatches it covers, or any tying questions, go ahead and drop those in the comments. And if you really like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, so now we're at the thorax and I'm gonna apply a little more dubbing and we'll just X wrap this just like we did when we tied the wings in. Get it tight behind the wings and then you can go ahead and wrap this in an X formation. And like I said, make it a little bit more robust than your body. A little more dubbing just to finish off the head here. All right. And now we're gonna put a half hitch in here and then a whip finish. Fly's not quite done yet though. You can slip, snip the thread and actually, we can get that close enough. And now I'm going to trim these wings up a little bit, pull the fibers apart, and we want to round off their edges just so they're not looking real straight and unnatural. We want to give wings that do look like the actual mayflies themselves. And that is a rusty spinner. It's a great fly to fish anytime there's a spinner fall. Floats well, gives a very realistic profile. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.